beat cop. <laughs> this looks funky. Um, I did play this a long time ago, uh, and it seems like it's pretty interesting because of the uh, pixel art. So um, I guess I want to kind of revisit it and see how it plays again because I don't really remember um, about the ending. I, I don't think I finished it anyway. So let's go. When we were kids, we spent countless hours on watching 80s TV cop shows. We loved watching good guys kicking bad guys' asses, saving beautiful women, and driving muscle cars into the night. We knew they weren't true, but we didn't care. We had damn good time, and that's what counted. Beat Cop is not a document about New York in the 80s. It is our tribute to all those evenings spent in front of the TV. So, relax, enjoy the game, and don't take life too seriously. <laughs> Pretty nice, pretty nice uh, intro for the game, I guess. So let's go. What is this? All right, Precinct 99, uh, 69, day one, new shoes. I'm sure you already met our new colleague, but maybe you should introduce introduce yourself again, Kelly. I'm Kelly, Jack Kelly. Hey Kelly, what's <laughs> up? We're Kelly. Okay, welcome to the street, detective. Ah, uh, don't forget to kiss our asses, Kelly. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Shpansky? Nothing, boss. <laughs> so we're gonna write 10 tickets. Uh, you mean 10 total? 10 each. Oh, uh, what? Oh, that doesn't apply to you yet, Kelly. What's wrong with me? I don't care about your past, detective. Or if you want to whack that poor bastard. Or if you swipe the senator's valuables. That's what internal affairs is for. Oh. You're a rookie. Okay. Don't even take your ticket book. Don't get any idea. So we were uh, previously a detective, I guess, and um, we're sort of being demoted to a uh, field officer. Okay. Go see Rick at his cafe. Meet Louie at the pizzeria. Ivan at the liquor store. Hi, say hi to Adamski. Visit her crank. And the electronic store. Jesus. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Was it nine? No. Six, seven, eight. Fat Mike knows the neighborhood like the back of his hand. He'll explain everything. Your call sign is 421. 421. They could have made it 420. Come on. <laughs> it would have been it would have been much better. Your code name 420 Blaze It. Yeah boy. Beat it. Just beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. No one wants to be defeated. Kelly, you've already uh missed it. Visit everyone and introduce yourself, okay? Sure. Besides Fat Mike will tell you what's what. Around here, you're no big shot suit no more. We'll see about that. The art style looks pretty cool. Oh, we got a gun, we got a handcuff, and um, this is the walkie talkie, the time. And I think this is our notepad. Uh, you're Polly. Kelly. Jack Kelly. I'm Kelly, not Polly. Call me Mike, Fat Mike. And whatever you want, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> the boss told me to babysit you today. I want to get this over with. Same here, boy. It's my last day on the street. Oh, this guy's retiring, I guess. Let's go. Where? Grab something to eat at Louis. It's not far. We'll check it on the Dabski on the way. All right. Let's, let's, let's do this. We'll see if everything's all right. Crank's Drug Store. Notebook update. You said it. Have a good day, 421. 420. I'm just going to call myself. Code name 420. We're going to Adamski, I guess. Uh, do we use the keyboard? No. Follow Mike to Adamski. Okay. And the time is ticking. Good morning, Mr. Adamski. Quiet today. 
Of course, the idea with the freezer was perfect. I don't know why I'm doing that accent, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I'll tell you, this is Polly. Be... I'm Kelly. God damn it, boy. I'm being transferred to another street. Oh, he's not retiring. He's just getting transferred to another stream. Welcome, officer. Stop by every now and then. I'll definitely will. All right. They see and know a lot. Uh, this is my neighborhood now, after all. All right. Coolies, coolies. Don't stress too much. And you'd have to do everything every day. Okay, some days you can go insane with the amount that's happening. Uh, you'll see everyone gonna want something from you, I guess. With the cops, you decide what you want. You decide what you don't give a fuck about, because you can't do it all. And sergeant, yeah, he won't always know if you do some shit on the side. <laughs> what on the side? Not just quarters and tickets, because you can't retire on those. Heh <laughs> heh. So I guess there's going to be a little bit of a bribing and corruption happening, a little bit of a side job. I guess that's what's happening. Um, Kelly, not Polly. Jeebus, boy. Sometimes you got to think outside the box, okay. Let's drop by Louis Pizzeria. He's got really good food. Hmm. I wouldn't mind some pizza right now. A double pepperoni or like a really nice one with a crusty base and a nice salty cheese mm -mm -mm. yummy get in on oh, you policeman welcome to our humble establishment I'm Kelly we know we know we Italians know everything about this neighborhood we came by for a pizza Louis they're transferring me and Polly's taking over Kelly, god damn it. Alright, I might as well just accept it. I guess our name is Polly now. Polly420. A simple misunderstanding. Oh, I guess that's kind of like the history, our history. Yes, this is a misunderstanding that could be cleared up. Maybe with our help. <laughs> Polly's new here, but he's a quick learner. It's Kelly. No, We're, our name is Polly now. You wanted a pizza or a pie? Maybe both. Great pizza. Okay, let's go. We haven't really done anything yet. Um, just walking around. It's already what time here? Not, not, not sure yet. Seems like it's paused. You're wearing the same uniform. What are you on about? These are no ordinary Italians. I can imagine. You need to be delicate here. You might leave, live to see retirement. Like me. Is he retiring or is he just moving to a different street? Write him a ticket before he skips out. Which one? Uh, this one? Red? This one doesn't have red. The boss was right. If I weren't here, you'd probably shit your diaper. Take mine. Mark the, vi mark the violation on the ticket. Write your badge number and sign it. Put it behind the wiper. We go here. Uh, check meter. Expired. Okay. Uh, write a ticket. Parking violation. Kelly. 421. Done. Boom. Boom by a. Ticket written up. Did you check the notebook? Oh no. Call for a tow truck on the radio. Give me back my ticket book. The boss gave you other tasks for the day. Okay. Call towing. At this car. This is 420 Central. I need a tow truck at 609. Relaying. 104. Tow truck on its way. Okay. Good work. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> Some hippie van got towed. Oh, damn. Just be careful what you write on the ticket. You'll get an earful for the unlawful ones. Okay, so we're going to get caught if um, we write an uh, incorrect ticket. Okay. Learn how to cuff a perp. Just slap on the cuffs down there on your belt when you're close to him. 420, this is Central. We got a robbery at Hard Ricks. 
10 4. I'm on my way. In the orange sweatshirt. Run. How do you run? Double click? Oh, nice. Nice. So when it's green, you just click on the uh, on the cuffs. Okay. 10 12 central. I need a squat car for the perp. 10 4. Coming your way. Nice. Pick up that bad boy. I need to make it back to Fat Mike. This is central. Good job stepping in. Now get back to Fat Mike. Okay. We're going back to the pizzeria. Um, ticket, ticket, ticket. Nothing. Good. No parking. Hey. No parking. Oh, there's something else I gotta do. Okay. Too bad. You lucky day today, boy. No. Our name's Polly. We're Polly now. <laughs> the thief looks like she was from the crew to me. Aside from the dire keys, we also got the Italian mob in the area. I wouldn't fuck with either if I were you. So there's the dire keys and there's the Italian mobs. Hmm. So there are the hostile forces. Gotta be careful then. Scope out the neighborhood and talk to people. I've got a few things to take care of. I'll see you at the end of the shift. Remember, don't need to push, you, push yourself. Do everything every day. Meet up at 4 p.m. in front of Louise. Okay, meet up 4 p.m. here in the. Okay, we did everything. Um, Kelly, what are you doing here, Captain? I wanted to talk to you. I'm listening. We should meet up more often. Uh, thank you, Captain. I didn't finish. I know they're framing you. I want to help. With the murder charge? The kid wasn't a saint. There's nothing we can do for him. But this city needs you. Oh, thank you, Captain. I didn't finish. You're a good cop. But there's one condition. Those missing diamonds need to be found. There were no diamonds at the Senators. I don't know what was and wasn't there. They need to turn up. <laughs> the Senator's a key player in getting you out of this shit. Without him, we're both done for. More like you're trying to save your ass. And using me. Yeah, you're retiring. You can't you can't afford to have a stuff up just before your retirement. That's why you're pushing me. You're not trying to save me. Yeah. Man, getting pushed all the way. Getting pushed from every direction. Okay. I get back to work. Notebook update. Find the missing jewelry. Let's go. Oops. No parking here, boy. Ah, okay then. Uh, visit people. I'm a new cop in the neighborhood. Welcome, welcome. You're always welcome for a coffee. On the house. Or something stronger. Like a gym beam in your coffee. Thank you. I'll, I'll be glad to drop by. What's this? Uh, boutique? Hello. Good day, Officer Kelly. New and anything. I love your figure. That's good. Very good. You have a very dangerous job. And Mr. Kelly, I have a beautiful leather jacket. Perhaps you're a fan of motorcycles? I don't think red's my color. But thanks anyway. What are you on about? Red's everyone's color. Gives you like extra 10 horsepower in your car if your car's red. Uh, so this is the end of the street. Uh, nothing here. I want to book this guy. No, I can't. We've got the liquor store. Peep, sh peep show. Oh no. Let's go to the peep show. What job? Seems like we can get jobs around here. One, two, three, four, a Marie, the Marine Corps. <laughs> Adamski, did we go Adamski? I don't think so. Oh yeah, we did. We did. Uh, Crank's Drugstore. Good morning, her officer. Officer Kelly. You look wonderful in that uniform. Is there anything amiss? Any pain? Any injuries? Ah, 
Yes, of course. Always at your service. <laughs> no, I can't do it. I can't do it. For embarrassing ailments. What? Impotency? You completely neglect it, but it's has some semblance of order. What? Blut und. What? Funny letters. What's this plaque? From the scouts. One of my mementos. Oh man. Discretion guaranteed. A medicine. Medicine shop or a diner. Let's see what's in the diner. Good morning. Good morning. Officer Kelly here. Officers of the law are always welcome here. I could use a coffee. Coming right up. Today it's on the house. Thanks. That's a damn good cup of joe. The only kind we serve. Almost forgot. Wish I could stay, but duty calls. Oh well. See you later. See you later. Oh, drink coffee, m bit more of a uh, people connection, and energy is up. It's 10.40 a.m. Let's see, let's check our notes. Liquor store, hi-fi electronics, church, and laundry. Let's visit the church. God bless. Good morning, I'm Kelly. Kelly? Irish? After my great-grandparents. Catholic? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. That's like me. Sometimes. <laughs> New transfer. Yep, came to introduce myself. We got transferred a lot too. Oh, uh, why? Why would priests get transferred a lot? Is it because of the, um, the incidents? The scandals with the boys? With them boys, eh? Hey? Does he forgive? Definitely not as often. Come by if you need my guidance, my son. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Most likely I won't. But we'll see what you got. Later. Laundry. We did need to uh, check the laundry. Yeah. Meeting out with the new people. Benny no here. Benny. Uh, Harry and Benny Pong. Yes. Hi. No clean. Go now. <laughs> Go now. Benny no. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. A dozen donuts? I'm not that kind of cop. Oh, that stereotype. Everyone says that. No one can resist our donuts. Alright then, I'll take one, please. Just a taste test. Just a taste test. This is really is good. What did I tell you? See you soon. Hey, that stereotype, man. Yo, yo, yo. It's Jaron Diggs and this is my joint. Officer Kelly. Everything's legit, officer. I didn't even ask. We know what they say about us. I'm new. I haven't heard yet. Welcome. We can always come to an agreement. Well, I don't have anything to pawn, so... Sometimes we got something worth buying. Good opportunities. I remember that. You drop by any time, officer. I better keep an eye on that one. Hmm... Interesting. 420, you got a call at the store. Froggy caught a thief. Froggy, what is that? Porn store. Uh, six what? So we can run and the uh, the stamina bar kind of uh, restores pretty quick. Peep show. I think it's here. There you are. I finally bagged that thief. I was just looking. That's what you always say. It's okay, I'll take care of it. So what'd you do, punk? I was just looking. At what, rubbers? <laughs> looking at dildos. Um, you gotta press him. Don't fucking piss me off. Turn out your pockets. There you go, I see you got five bucks. Pay for the rubbers and get lost. But the rubber's a buck. Consider the rest damages. <laughs> Dumb pig. You want me to lock you up with Mandingo? <laughs> if I find I'm paying, but I'll remember this. Nicely done. I'll spread the good word about you. Yes, yes, yes. Crew. Oh. 
Our um, our reputation with the crew is minus two. What's this? It's got a dollar. It's got a dollar sign. Hot dog? Yeah, sure. Why not? Here you go, Indian. That'll be three bucks. Ah, oh, you gotta pay, man. It's only 12.30 and officer are you new here? Yes, I just started in this neighborhood. Oh, great. I like talking to policemen. I'll become a policeman too. When I grow up. Dad says it's a good job. Really? Yeah, you can, <laughs> you can, <laughs> you can always take bribes. Oh, I think I should have a word. <laughs> that kind of threw me off. I'm wasting my time here. No, you're not. Check your watch. Oh, okay. Time stops during conversation. That's good to know. Hey, no parking here. Okay, can't do any tickets, I guess, today. Officer, you're new here. We could always get, help you get acclimated. How's that? We can meet up, play a hand. This isn't Vegas. Vegas, gambling's illegal. Who said anything about gambling? A little R&I &I never heard nobody. Hmm, I'll think about it. Please do. Thanks, I have to go. Uh, what do we do? Oh, we haven't actually checked the uh, the end store. I can't remember what it was. And since we can't do any tickets here, so I'm just going to ignore like the uh, these tickets here. Phone 20, get to the phone booth now. Sergeant Holloway wants to talk to you. What does he want? Uh, I don't know, but I suggest you hurry. All right. This is Kelly. What do you want, Holloway? That's Sergeant Holloway to you, motherfucker. I swear on all that is fucking holy. I'm calling you to let you know. I'm watching you. Man. Your ex-wife, you filthy piece of dog shit. What? Is giving her daddy hell. Says she's unhappy. And for that, I get shit from the chief. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Our ex-wife is the chief's daughter. My goodness. How the hell? But, Sergeant, you don't know the whole... I don't give a fuck. I don't want to hear another word about her. Yes, sir, Sergeant, sir. That'll be all. Get back to work. Yes, sir, Sergeant, sir. Man. We haven't finished this guy. Okay. Came to introduce myself. I'm Kelly. New to the neighborhood. Code name 420. Yeah, it's pretty much the end, the end of the day. Oh. I just noticed that. Top Gun. <laughs> A little bit of uh, trivia there. Oh, special orders. Hmm, notebook update. We visited everyone. Liquor store. We haven't visited a liquor store. Did we miss it? Where was it? What's the drug store? The jewelry shop. Oh, at the very end. Oh, no. It's just before the pizzeria. Hello, I'm Kelly. Perhaps you can't drink on duty. No, we can't. But off duty, we can always find something at a good price for you. Thanks, Harvey. I have to take up, take you up on that. Hmm. So that's it. It's two thirty. Can we issue tickets now? No. Let's meet, let's go Louise. What's his name is not here yet. Was it Fat Mike? We're supposed to meet at Louise. Supposed to meet Fat Mike back at Louise. What else can you do?
What's this guy? Hey, commissioner. Don't you know the stripes? Respect's important. Is this part of the crew, I guess? Why are you telling me this? You just remember that, officer. It'll be better that way. Okay. I'm trying to make... Trying to not tr not trying to make enemies here. Hmm. In the corners. All right, I see. Pawn shop. Okay, the crew's headquarters. The crew's joint is the pawn shop. The uh, the mobsters joint is the uh, pizzeria. Okay. 4 p.m. Here we go. To uh, pizzeria, right? Go back to the pizzeria to meet with uh, Fat Mike. There he is. Yo, Fat Mike, what up? Had a look around the neighborhood. I've talked to people. I can handle this place. Sure. What are we waiting for? A friend wanted to meet you. What's he doing? Oh, shit. Polly, get down! Get the fuck down! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit, drive by! Oh shit, Fat Mike, no! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> His guts are all over the place! Move back, this is a crime scene. Man. Day one recap. Uh, three bucks for the food. Social status with the crew, minus three. We've got the police, mafia, and the crew. Okay, I met the owners of the biggest businesses on the street. People plus three are oh, so the stores represent the people, the, uh, the store owners. Wrote up my first police ticket. Uh, that's with the police. Okay, okay, blah, blah, blah. I need to have $300 for the alimony payment in three days. Got my paycheck, 50 bucks a day. How am I gonna get 300 bucks in uh, in three days if my paycheck's 50 bucks a day? Uh. Is this our um, sidearm? A 1911, really? No way. Isn't your sidearm like some sort of a revolver back in the day, in the 80s, like you know, six shot revolver? Some Chinese take away. I don't know if that's a Coke or not. Um, can't read it. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Precinct 69, Brooklyn, New York. We're in Brooklyn. Day two. Here, kitty kitty. Listen up. Good morning, balls. Morning, morning. It is a good morning because I got some snatch last night. What snatch are you talking about? <laughs> Don't you have anything better to talk about, douchebag? What are you talking about? About Fat Mike, you insensitive dick. My dick feels pretty sensitive right now. Man. <laughs> uh, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> like you're gonna pay, pay him back anyway. <laughs> Give it to his family. I have a thing. <laughs> oh, you cheap bastard. Okay. He cheated fed. Yeah, we almost got shoot. We almost got shot everywhere on that drive by. That was insane. You slip up again, you're out. What? Slip what up? We didn't do shit yesterday. Man. I know the deal, boss. Alright, no pads on the ready. You listening, Kelly? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so minimum five tickets for parking. Grace period has ended. The hunt starts now. Don't take that literally. I can handle it. We'll see. Sometimes when shit goes down, you don't even have time to take a piss. And if you double your quota, 
you get a little bonus in your paycheck to get to work. Alright, enough, I'm hungry. <laughs> physical. Pasta physical, that's all you need. Kelly, I heard your stats were horse shit anyway. Maybe you'll do better here. You're still way out of your league, even on my worst day. So there's a bit of a banter here, like a little bit of a um, dialogue back and forth that hopefully will kind of um, uh, shed a bit of a story on our uh, identity and the, uh, the overall arching story in this game. Shooting range. I've got roaches at home, so I was just shooting out of one of them in the... What? <laughs> Wasting bullet on roaches? It's fucked up what happened to Mike, especially for him. It got dangerous out there, you know? And I thought he wasn't so bad here yet. We'll get him. Not us. More like Kelly's old buddies. Are they good? The best. Though not so much without me no more. Good thing I'm with you, <laughs> you sons of bitches. I'll sniff around. All right. I don't even feel like a woman around you people. Maybe it's because you dress like a guy. Well, true. The uniforms are pretty much uh, standardized, I guess, or uh, in the uh, in the uh, police department. Get fucked. Only with women. We don't get get nearly enough around here. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Oh, we better beat it. We better beat it. Okay. Meaning, we was moonlighting for the Italians and eventually fucked off abroad. Street offers plenty of opportunities. But this conversation never happened. So everyone knows. Everyone's doing it. Hmm. I'll find out who took out Fat Mike. Yep, yep, yep. Later, later. Yep. Alright, we got one here. Let's quickly do it. Uh, write a ticket. Um, fucking violation, I think. How's that? 20? No. No. We're not taking bribes. For these little little things. No. Alright. Write a ticket. No parking here, boy. Parking violation. Bam, bam. Done. No. Nothing, I'm going. You're gone. Correct. Parking violation. Write a ticket. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> From one American to another. Please, I'm begging you. Quit the patriotic bullshit. Come on. Run. Are we going to get him? I don't think we're going to get him. He's too far away. Oh, no, I don't think we're going to get him. I don't think we're going to get him. It's almost at the end of the street. Ah, I missed it. God damn it. We got another parking violation anyway. Good. Bam, bam. Done. No. No bribes. So we got three tickets. This will make a four. Fucking violation. Good. Fucking violation. Can't park in front of the uh, fire hydrant. Good. So many tickets. Is this what we're going to do all day?
throw it out. Man. No parking in front of fire hydrant. Done. We need uh, two more so we can double it up. Oh, he's, he's leaving. Is that it? Come on, we need two more. We need to talk about what happened. It's important. I'll see, maybe I'll drop by. Oh, okay. You gonna pay? You didn't pay. You didn't pay, so write a ticket. There we go. Boom. Ah, there's a brawl. At the diner? Ah, let's quickly do this one. Come on. Bam. Got ten. Good. Let's go to the uh, diner. And sort out the brawl. More people parking in a no parking spot. In front of my hydrant. You got a stiff in an alley. The one where crowds gathering move. Where is it? Where's the alley? Not here. What's the time? 12 p.m. Big trouble in Little China. On the house, okay. <laughs> well, if it's on the house. Good, stamina plus one. I gotta go to the. Um, to the alley. Where's the alley? Oh, here it is. Oh my goodness. Stiffy. Dead body, I guess that's what it means. Officer Kelly, please move back. Who found the victim? I did. When? A few minutes ago? Asked about the uh, victim. Do you recognize the victim? No. Don't know who that is. Someone very unfortunate. Do you see the murderer? No. Only the body. This is horrible. I'll need your details. We need to ask you a few more questions. Uh, anything suspicious? No, I don't know anything. There's been a murder. I always said it would end like this. What would? First it was Vietnam, then Nixon, and then now. What? What are you talking about, girl? Well, strangely, well, that's such a vague... Let it go. Let it go. It's not worth your time. What about this guy? You see anything? Regarding? The body you stood about six feet away from. I just got here. I'd like to know what's going on myself. Either I get rid of him or I hit him. <laughs> there's, been, there's been a murder as you can see. What? Are you serious man? <laughs> I can stand where I like. Well, don't make this any harder than it has to be. Well, he has a point. He can stand where he likes. Um, just let it go. Just let it go. Nothing. Nothing. One hour later, they took the body away. Okay. I'm not chasing pissants. Have a corpse then, since that's your thing. Did you find anything out? Um, no. No one said anything. 
Uh, no uh, clues on the victim and I mean no clues on the perpetrator. Uh, victim's clean, no wallet, no witness. It's a tough one this one. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> then be careful where you park. Man. Getting uh getting bad looks and bad vibes from everywhere. This ain't nice. This ain't nice. What did we take? If it's not a diamond, then what? Oh. Jesus. Is there anything that we can do here? Nah, doesn't look like it. Let's go to the uh, pizzeria because the guy said to check, check him out. Those moolies? What's moolies? They don't respect the rules. I'll get those motherfuckers. You can count on the Tataglia family's help. So the name is Tataglia. Tataglia. We can deal with them together, no? We just need proof. Something will turn up. There's always a lot of uh, Italians on the police force. And the darkies can always use some pressure on them. Hmm. So I'm guessing we're going to be uh, sort of like choosing sides between the Italians and the crew. Uh, let's go to the liquor shop. Maybe they heard anything. Nothing. The porn shop. Nothing. Hmm. What now? My cat's missing. Susie, why? Ah, she's black all over. No one, nobody wants to help me. Kid, I'm on duty. Oh. Fine. You can ask at the pizzeria. They won't let me in there. Okay. Wait. She's going to be waiting by the drugstore. Alright, let's check out the pizzeria. Black cat? No, I don't see it here. What's got into you? The cat's asleep in the box <laughs> by the window. Okay, so we go to... There she is. Oi. Oi, mate. There we go. <laughs> Just yanking your chain. Your cat's alive and well. Waiting at the pizzeria. How could you? But I'm so happy. Go on. All right, all right. Cool, cool. No, but go to the pawn shop. Someone wants to meet me at the Ricks. Okay, we gotta go to pawn shop. Shit, it's 4.25 p.m. Almost out of time. I think we finish at 5 or 5.30. Hey, what's up, officer? I'll give you, hey. After what you did to Fat Mike, was it them? Hmm. The Italians say it was you. The spaghetti munchers are... <laughs> spaghetti... <laughs> oh, man. They don't hold back on this one. <laughs> Shit. Oh, you think you know every brother in the city? You better find out who it was. For your own sake. We don't cut deals with pigs. You do with me, chicken shit. I almost died back out there. Watch yourselves. Oof. Oof. Jesus. What's your problem? Don't play dumb now. Hey, it wasn't us. It was a car full of gangbangers like you. You tripping? 
Man, that racial profiling though. Oof, oof. Big oof there. Yeah, yeah. I reckon we should be getting uh, the crew's help to find out who's actually killed Fat Mike. I don't know. I, I just get the feeling that the Italians probably don't really care about us. Well, maybe the crew don't really care as well. Mm. What now? The man standing at 615 has some business with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just here. Stacked a few ticks for parking. You look like a nice guy. Maybe we can something up. Uh, I could try for 50. I was kidding. <laughs> 50. Oh, uh, but we do need 300 bucks. What am I gonna, what am I gonna do with 300 bucks? How am I gonna get 300 bucks? Let's talk to the other guys at the other end. I think. Um, oh no, they're gone. 5:45 p.m. What time do we finish? Oh, six. We finish at six. Okay, on my way back. How do, how do we get back? Why is it minus one? We did the uh, the ticket well. Hmm. Police plus five. Okay. Sixty. We got sixty bucks. Oh, is, is that, that it? it? Oh, oh no, no, the 60, 60 bucks was bonus, like, and yeah, the, the paycheck bonus. was 50 dollars. And the paycheck was 50, bucks, so, right, we're sorted, so then. all we're of us, 317, we're sorted. Then. Right, I was I guess thinking we'll that continue we're going to have to take uh, bribes, but no, thanks for not. Tomorrow, guys, thank Hopefully you so much for watching. Case, I do hope like, to check out the really next one as well. So I hope I'll see you there. Bye. So that's a good option, I guess. All right, um, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope to check the next one as well. So I hope I'll see you there. Bye.